This was a moment of madness that scarred the first day of the Olympics. It happened at the 13th century Imperial Drum Tower, one of Beijing's major tourist attractions. The Chinese man wielding a knife stabbed two relatives of a coach of the US volleyball team, killing one before leaping to his death from the tower. Laura and I were also saddened by the attack on an American family and their Chinese tour guide today in Beijing. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. And the United States government has offered to provide any assistance the family needs. In a city where random violence is virtually unheard of, this rocked the U.S. team to the core. Wow, that's the first time I've heard of that. Um, that's, it's, wow, you know, that's a tragedy, you know, to hear something like that. And, you know, um, I know we're, uh, we're well protected. Um, being in the, the village and on the bus and transportation and the field and all that. And, you know, right now we're just concentrating on, on playing softball and winning gold. U.S. Olympic officials said the two seemed to be victims of an assault unconnected with the Games. They're shocked. They're deeply saddened and shocked. And um, I know in this very difficult hour, their, um, their thoughts and prayers are with... Um, with everyone who, who's been impacted by this. My understanding is that uh, the victims of this attack uh, were not wearing apparel or attire that would have uh, automatically identified them as uh, being uh, connected to uh, a member of the U.S. Olympic delegation. Almost at the same time, a very high-profile protest in Tiananmen Square by pro debate activists turned ugly when the five took part in what they called a mock die-in on the open space below Chairman Mao's portrait. The protest attracted the attention of dozens of local Chinese who surrounded the demonstrators. There were scuffles as they attempted to break up the protest. At a time when China's pride is running high following the success of the opening ceremony yesterday, further protests by activists here can expect a similar reaction from local people and a firm hand from security officials determined that this won't tarnish the image of what they see as the Chinese games. Peter Sharp, Sky News in Beijing.